What's going on everyone? My name is Peter Hunspitek with DualShockers.com and today I want to talk about a game that has been very near and dear to my heart in the past few months, Apex Legends. I've been playing Apex Legends ever since it launched back in 2019, but I never really put a lot of time into it. You know, a match with friends here, dropping hot with randos there, but I never really got into the groove of the game. That is, until January of this year, just a few weeks before the launch of Season 8. With the Nintendo Switch port of the game finally arriving today, and the introduction of the new Chaos Theory collection event, I think now is a better time than ever for new players to start dropping hot with the rest of us. But before you suit up and go look for the best loot you can find, I think we should take a second to talk about what Apex seems to be about on the surface, and then what I think it's actually about. In summation, that's a $2 word. I wanna help you understand the crucial flaw that I was making when I first started playing the game. So that way you can start winning matches and firefights much, much faster than I did. Before we get into all of that though, I would just like to take a second to remind you to like this video if you're enjoying it so far and subscribe to Dual Shockers so we can continue making cool content like this. I know people say this sort of a lot, but your support really does mean quite a lot to me. So thanks in advance. Aww. I want to preface this entire conversation by saying that I am in no ways an Apex expert. I've seen the pros play and they pull off maneuvers that are totally out of my league. So the advice that I want to give you is coming from someone who has about 150 hours of casual play in Apex Legends. That said, here's the problem I ran into early on in the game. I've played a lot of first person shooters in my time and I thought that Apex Legends would be really similar to the games that it looks like. I found a lot of FPS success in multiplayer modes by just running around, finding someone to shoot, planting my feet, and then shooting at them until either I died or they died. It's fun to play like that and I did okay with that strategy, but you bring those sorts of strats to Apex and you get totally smoked. I just couldn't understand why me and my teams were doing so poorly. I don't think I'm some sort of FPS professional, but I've been playing games like these for years. I think any Apex veteran would be able to quickly point out the major flaw in my logic. Despite what Apex looks like on the surface, that it's a game about shooting, it's actually not. It's a game about movement. Apex gives off the same vibes as other first person shooters in aesthetics alone. It seems to share a lot of DNA with Titanfall and Titanfall 2, Respawn Entertainment's first FPS outings. Those games have an incredible free running system that allow players to traverse the map easily. Apex's movement isn't quite as free and fast as Titanfall's, there's no double jumps or wall running, but it makes up for those lost mechanics in the use of character abilities which we will get into a little bit later. At its core, Apex Legends is about outmaneuvering your opponents so you can trap them in a corner and easily finish them off. It doesn't matter if you're a great shot or not if you're standing still while your opponents are running in circles all around you. I mean, it makes sense, right? It's much harder to hit something that's zipping around than hitting something that's standing completely still. I know it feels simple, but it's a fact that's easy to forget when sort of getting into the thick of things. Outmaneuvering doesn't just mean flanking people in an open field, though. There are a handful of open fields in Apex Legends, and I would never advise you to go into any of them. Outmaneuvering is usually important in those firefights you get into inside of buildings. Don't just stay in that building if there's a firefight breaking out on the first floor. Bolt out the back door, climb up the building by the side, and then get back inside through a window or a topside door. Surprise the opposition by appearing in places that they're not expecting to see you. When you're outside trying to find an entrance on the top floor, take some pot shots through a window or throw a grenade. It doesn't really matter if you hit them as long as you're one, attempting to do damage and two, confusing the heck out of people. To stay in one place in Apex Legends is to die a very quick and unsatisfying death, as I have learned many, many times. The game is also clearly pushing players in the movement is key direction with its various playable characters. Looking at the legends that people use in high level play is very telling about what sort of tactical abilities are going to be useful in each situation. It's for this reason that characters who don't have any sort of enhanced movement abilities are oftentimes left in the dust when starting to build a team. Let me just say that those defensive legends definitely have their place, but offensive players who are looking for a high damage count at the end of a match are going to be choosing legends who can dart quickly in and out behind cover and around buildings. If you're just starting out, 
Try to experiment around with characters that you like, but keep in mind what it's like to actually move them throughout the game world. The shooting range is a great place to get the feel for each individual character, but for me personally, it just can't stand in for the real type of thing. What do you think? Do you have any good tips for beginners? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to like this video and subscribe to DualShockers for all things Apex Legends.